are live. Welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting. Uh, right now, I think I got coffee in the chat. <laughs> so, what's going on, Kai Brooks? Written my C. Uh, I think he is. Yep, my throat hurts. <laughs> oh no, no con crud, my friend. Ninety minutes and change still to go. We'll try to get you close. Uh, although I don't really have a whole lot of an agenda tonight. Uh, we'll see who else joins me here in a minute. Um, yeah, so looks like from the pictures that you and 84 and Sam I am and trying to remember who else, Old Wolf and uh, Vasco and is that everybody? I'm trying to remember who else was there. I had a, a blast at Boston. Um, so sorry I missed out, but that one's a little far for me. <laughs> um, but I'm going to stall for a minute. My original plan for tonight was I was going to do a double unboxing. Hey, Cameron, Cameron D, what's going on? Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just hope you don't come down with the con crud, my friend. That always sucks. Nova Man, 1966. What's going on, sir? Thanks for joining us. Um, I don't know if I've seen Nova Man in the chat before. Thank you for joining me. Um, unruly. Now, I've seen that guy before. <laughs> So, um, but so my original plan for this was I was going to do a double unboxing tonight. Um, too late to avoid the concrete. I'm sorry, man. That sucks. Um, and, but the second book uh, was supposed to come yesterday. Only the seller didn't tell me he put it down for signature only. Like, to be signed for. So I didn't know that. So even though I could have been here to sign for the book, I wasn't because I wasn't too worried about it because, yeah, nobody ever messes with my stuff. And and I was going to be home, like, within an hour of when the mailman usually comes anyway. So, no, instead of having both books, I have one book. And I have to go by the post office tomorrow and try to track down uh, my other book. So I'm debating on whether to open the one book. I have a feeling if I throw it over to the chat, I know what the answer is going to be. Or wait and open them both tomorrow. Although I've been sitting on this book since Thursday, so I'm probably going to open it no matter what you guys say. Um, oh, sneeze eight times on a bus ride so far. That's no good. Um, that is no good. But I'm going to open now. <laughs> Well, that's just it. And really, it wasn't over two hundred dollars. So, um, but yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it was enough that it was marginally enough to like ask for a signature, which would have been fine if he just told me that's what he was doing. Uh, he didn't tell me that, so I therefore did not um, prep for it. Um, so that's kind of a pain. But I'll get it. I'm just mad I don't have it yet. That's really the, what it comes down to. Hey, Sam, I am. What's going on? Hopefully, Sam, I am will avoid the con crud um, that Kavi seems to be coming down with. So I've already had two open it. Um, so I will get to that in just a minute, probably. I'm going to give just a couple more minutes to see if we get joined by a few more people before I open it. Um, I don't really have a whole lot else. I did not get to my LCS this week. Um just one of those weeks I didn't happen. Work has been my first week back from being on vacation was a little crazy. Um, I had new deadlines and things that I thought were going to happen in September are happening before the end of this month. And so, yeah, so it's been a little crazy, a little hectic, but um, so there's Chris Barrett. So, so in addition, the box, Appears to have taken a decent ding. So this was, I should say, this was box inside a box. Um, I actually already opened the outer box, um, which took it to, and then, which, and I have discovered my nemesis was between the outer box and the inner box of packing peanuts. And I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. There's clearly packing peanuts inside of this box. So that doesn't make me happy. <laughs> so, so uh, what's in the box? 
Let's see. Where is... What did I do with that stuff? Um, I'm looking for something. You guys, this is riveting YouTube right now as I'm looking for something. That is not what I was looking for. Um, before I open that box. I'm well prepared, as always, for my live streams, as you guys can tell. Aha! I just covered it up as I drop the word. <laughs> you guys are like, what is he doing? <laughs> you need a quicker picker up. Uh, Vitamin C, NYC. Uh, mail service hates comic books. Where do I get that? Um, you took the wrong vitamin C. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you always want to take the right vitamin C. I don't know what the vitamin C is Bear, it's referring to. I have the feeling that it's probably not vitamin C. I'm just going to say, um, I'm just going to go out on a limb on that. So, let's go all the way back to beginning of 2019. Um you guys remember my want list from the beginning of 2019 that I actually kind of threw away and whoa, that messed with the color. That's freaky. Did that do, can you guys see that? Do I turn orange? Yeah, that turns me orange. <laughs> uh, now I'm just playing with turning myself orange. <laughs> this is really good YouTube, I must say. Um, Kavi is not wanting to breathe anyone's crud. Um, so this is my list back from the beginning of 2019. Keep it here by my face so it doesn't like. And I kind of threw this out in May because I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to get there. I'm not going to be able to get there. Well, I will tell you the book I'm going to open tonight and the book hopefully I'm going to get picked up from the post office tomorrow um, are both on this list, which will put me four. And my original goal for this was uh, six of ten. So, what makes it going to get closer to this than I realize? Um, what's going on, Big Snake? Joe, 47771. Hey, Gray Man. All right. So, it is on this list. Um, if you guys pay attention, you probably know. You'll notice I have, like, hot girl covers behind me. That's a clue. Um, so, with that... I live in bourbon country. That's how they fight the crowd around here. That's the good way to do it. Um, that is a good way to do it. Let's put this thing back on the thing. So I think we're up to, what are we up to in here? 14 watching. I think that's enough to uh, open a book. The sneaky tan. I have no idea. You get the Kar Kardashian tan by leaning into the camera. Yeah, the... Well, it's not me. Like, it doesn't matter if I lean into the camera. I just You just see my bad complexion. It's if I put this up here, I get the Kardashian tan. I don't know why that white does it, but it throws off the white balance of the camera. Boobarella number one. That is incorrect, Chris Barrett. It is not Boobarella number one. Is there such a thing? Now I'm, now I'm going to have to look that up. <laughs> I probably don't want to look that up because there's probably images that I don't want necessarily. So let's unbox the comic, bro. All right, here we go. Oh joy! Oh, so inside a box, inside a box, inside a bag with effing packing peanuts. Son of a, a bubble envelope, I should say. So we have got riveting TV so far. I've turned myself orange. I have. Anybody want some packing peanuts? Who who would like me to send those to you? Them, I will. I'll just box them up and send them to you. <laughs> Macaroon, he's macadamia. Uh, so yeah, if you guys just want some peanuts, I'll just send them your way. Just use these. To, I exactly bake. I hate peanuts. Although I have to say, box inside a box with peanuts with a bubble mailer. You did a good job packing it, but there's easier ways. You don't need all that. So, and let's taste this way, I guess. So, all right. So, any guesses? Here it is: boiled peanut wasabi peanuts. <laughs> I don't think you're tan. They tan their tickets. <laughs> 
Booty and Boomerang. Uh, Perry is lurking. What's going on, my friend? Let me just take that out of there. Let's get the receipt out of there. Does it need to be in a take the hang? All right. There it is. You guys know I'm a sucker for Art Germ. You know I'm a sucker for Batgirl, although this is not necessarily my Batgirl. I do like Stephanie. I think she's a fun character. Um, this was back in May when I kind of gave up on this book. This book was significantly more, was going for significantly more than what I paid for it this time. Pretty happy with my price. Realize a modern cover, only a 9.6. I'm okay with that. We give bear crap about being 9.6. I'm probably a 9.6 guy because... 96 means I didn't pay a premium. Um, so that, Batgirl number 12, 9.6, White Pages, is the book I picked up. I have another book coming that is sort of different, sort of the same kind of thing. But, um, yeah. So that is my big pickup. Um, I've yet to look. Oh. Dude, I think that could press. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but I don't know if this is the... Let me see. I don't know if I can get this camera to pick it up. Oh, yeah, it does. Can you see that at the bottom? Maybe if I get the light just right. The screen reflection. See that? There's a, like... the There's a ding on the bottom of the book that comes in that does not break color. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So I could potentially get that dude pressed. Uh, I don't know if I get the light. I can't get it where you guys can see it, but um, I know Bubarella, number one, signed by Elvira and China and other big <laughs> No, that is not what it is, Chris Baird. I'm sorry to disappoint. But <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm... A Big fan. This is, you know, this is probably the Archer cover to this point, I would say. Um, although there's some others I like almost as well, but uh, and really says he could see it, but that is it does not look like it breaks color to me. Um, I think you could press that out. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. That would make it a 9.6. Corners are all super sharp. I don't know that I would ever actually mess with it because I probably won't sell it, but there's a little bit of something out that staple that might make it a little rough color rub, just a tiny bit of a color rub on that one staple on the back, but um, the bottom staple. But I don't see anything else. I think that's got to be it. But I am super happy to add this um, to my collection. Bad girl, number 12, Art Germ. Yes, the Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, um, woo. My camera doing that weird thing where it won't focus now. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Okay, there we go. Um, Yes, I love it. I love the, uh, I haven't picked it up yet, but um, I'm looking forward to getting the uh, animated series art germ um, in my hands because uh, I think that is one of my favorites. So that is the book I picked up this week. Um, basically, out of pocket, what I'm trying to remember how much I had in between. Um, from selling some other stuff on eBay and up uh, in my eBay thing saved up like 20 bucks. The rest was paid for by selling stuff on eBay. So um, like 20 something of it was actually not from stuff I'd actually moved. So that was pretty nice. Um, let's see what, what are we talking about? Um, but seriously, who doesn't love a big boob celebrity? We're still talking about, Barrett's still talking about big boobs. Uh, Unruly says he could see the ding. Um, I like the one that came out, that just came out by the animated one. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll see them both in person. Um, but I lean toward the animated one, but I'm a bigger fan of animated one. 
Um, awesome. I don't have an integrated book yet. Still kind of early into collecting. So, Nova Man, I was at this time last year, I had two graded books because I bought uh, my third one in September of last year. Um, and about 18 months ago, I had none. I now have 14 or 13. I don't know. I'd have to count. 13 or 14. I'm up to 13 or 14. When the one, actually, I think I will be at 15 when the other one comes because the other one is graded that I bought as well. That this was, for those who missed, was supposed to be a dual unboxing. Um, but the second book was signature required, and I didn't know he'd send it that way, so I wasn't home when it came, tried to come send it Saturday. Um, you got one for a nice you NYC. I picked up a couple. Uh, no matter. It's addicting. It has become a little bit. Um, I still like raw books. As you can see, all those books behind me are still raw. Um and I looked for this one in a raw, but actually, like, a raw copy that I felt like would score this was running the same price as this was. And at that point, it was just like, I can't judge a 9.8 off the internet well enough, or just too many things you just can't see. Um, so I just went on about this one. Uh, uh, my only graded book. So did you send it off, Barrett, or did you get it from somebody? I also like petite women and women with athletic builds. <laughs> Barrett showing how, um, you know, picky he is when it comes to the ladies. <laughs> so um, let's see. So I picked up, uh, I desperately want it. I don't desperately want it. I'm not just buying covers anymore where I'm not reading the book. Ah, where's the fun in that, NYC? Come on. Uh, bake pre-ordered a while back. Bags of sevens. I only like some curves if they're athletic. Uh, oh, I like them chunky. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Okay. No, nope, so you're still waiting on it. Okay. I slipped on a modern variant pre-order myself. So, yeah, I just slipped on. You guys want to see, like, I'd sworn off uh, that I was going to be doing a bunch of these modern stuff. I'll close this down. I don't need, I don't know why I'm running that. Um, I wasn't going to, I was cutting back on variants. I wasn't going to do store exclusives. I was cutting back on series that I was collecting. Um, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm not doing that. I'm not going down that road anymore. I wasn't, I, when Spider Gwen, Ghost Spider ended, the story was only okay. I wasn't going to keep doing it. Um, blah, 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 blah. Actually, you guys won't be able to see it on this. Hang on a second. I'm going to go here. And then I saw this cover, and I'm a sucker. And So I'll show you guys what I ordered the other day because I'm a dummy, and I have no willpower, and I'm a sucker for pretty ladies on comic book covers. And let's see if I can get this to pop up. And I was tempted, and the sad thing is they tempted me again, stupid comic mint and Shannon Mayer. Go to the page. And let's go back here. You guys already probably know what I'm going to show. Um, Chrome tab. So, yeah. This one, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so, NYC, you got that one too? <laughs> now, I didn't get the virgin one. I just got the, the trade dress. But, yeah, I totally, um, I totally was like, I saw that covered. I was like, oh, my God. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the book isn't out yet. Oh, she had prints. Nice. So, oh, you mean these that they've been tempting me with all day, Cameron? That I was like, um, let me go back to the tab here. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, here we go. You may also like details. Are these the two covers you're referring to, Cameron? Um, 
Harley and Ivy number one. And of course, they're on two separate covers. She couldn't just do one with both of them. No. We gotta get you to buy two books. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pretty ladies on comic covers. There's TJ. He with the devil horns. Did you, TJ, did you come in for the unboxing or were you late, my friend? I just seen you hop in the chat. Um, it was supposed to be a double unboxing. I have another book coming tomorrow. Well, I got to pick up tomorrow. The seller sent it with signature needed when I didn't know he'd done that. So, yeah. So, I was a sucker. I've been resisting the Ivy and Harley uh, books today, but I don't know that I will manage to continue to do that or not. I want to remove my screen share. So this is the book I picked up that came that I just unboxed, TJ, um, in case you weren't here earlier. Um, let me click TJ's comment here. Ooh, my mouse is like not suddenly not wanting to work. So that's weird. Um, Oh, Cameron D got the art germ Emma Frost. I actually resisted the art germ Emma Frost, Cameron. I like honka honka poison ivy. <laughs> TJ, yeah, TJ warning. Um, uh, yes, the I did resist that art germ. I was severely tempted by this. I was severely tempted by the new Vampirella number four that he just showed off. Um, I did go for that Vampirella number two, even though I don't read it, Vampirella. I don't know why I did that. I'll probably send that to Unruly if he didn't get it. <laughs> um, oh, the Black Queen one? Yeah, that one's that one's gorgeous, too. I, I resisted the Emma Frost. So far, I have resisted the Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, but I did not resist... Um, The Spider Gwen, because I am a sucker. Hughes did a Emma Frost. Well, um, speaking of, you guys are talking about that. Let me go back in the comment mint here in a second. I'll add it. There's a there's an Emma Frost for what did uh, oh House of X number one that Shannon Mayer did that who did those Ivy and. Um, let me go back to sharing. Add back to the stream. So Shannon Mayer did this Emma Frost for House of X number one that they still have um, avail available, I believe. So if you're a big Emma Frost fan, here you go. I'm going to tempt others with um, I'm going to tempt Unruly and Chris Barrett with uh, that Emma Frost cover. Is it honkable? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My goal is to get every Emma Frost appearance. Wow, that's a lot of books, Barrett. That's a that's a lofty goal. I remember seeing one of those kids. She's remaining one of my top female characters. I love Ivy. She's a great character. I have, like I said, I don't know that I'll actually resist that Harley and Ivy. I was kind of hoping they'd just sell out. The Virgin ones already did in terms of the group. But there was only like 800 of those honka honka motorboat. <laughs> Emma Frost. Yeah. So I don't know if I can actually like. There you go. Is that what you were wanting to? Oh, wait, here. Let's expand. Oh, there you go. Now, there you go, Barrett. Hey, Biggie. Yeah, Biggie's in the chat. What's going on, Biggie? So that is that one. Um, you have, I have to. I am not making the noises. <laughs> I am not doing that. I don't know how this this is degenerated into the uh, like the unknown uh, statues one um, that I did. Let's go back to the. So this is the one I failed to resist, and it's actually out of stock. So I guess that's a good thing that I failed to resist it. Weird that you can't like zoom that one out. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> so yeah. 
So, I failed to resist the ghost spider. I couldn't help it. This is always off the rails. If anybody wants to join me and go off the rails with me, that is um, that is what I do on Sunday nights. Is we just go off the rails. We look at stuff. We have fun. I didn't have an agenda. I didn't have any books to show other than this one. And I'll show it again for those that Biggie, I think, just joined us. I'll show it again with the big screen uh, here in a second. I'll stop sharing. But I forgot. I might as well tempt you guys. I get tempted by this stuff, so I might as well, like, play to your guys' worst influences. The fact that you guys all voted for uh, that uh, Silver Surfer over Star Wars earlier me, tells me you guys love variants despite what you say. So, so yeah, there you go. There's Harley and Ivy in all their glory that I have been trying to resist all day. Um, yeah. Shannon at NYC says Shannon is on a roll with the. She is, I had never really heard of her until very recently, but she is coming out with a lot, a uh, lot of really cool, awesome covers. For, <laughs> I don't know why I'm encouraging you, Barrett, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> With these comments, but you know, um, Joe voted for stars. There you go. Oh, is Shannon a guy? I don't know. Yeah, that's true. That is the guy spelling. You are correct. In my see, now that I think about that, that is the way a guy would spell Shannon. So there you go. I didn't know that. I just said that it never registered with me. So, um, so he likes the ladies then. See, that has been my Sam says that he is sticking with the art germ variants because they're cheaper. I also think I like them better. Um, that's just me in this particular case. Uh, I actually think I like the art germ um, better than these two is why I've been able to resist these two today. Um, Well, unruly, if you voted for it, that's why I beat it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I actually, the reason I haven't picked these up today is because I actually kind of prefer the art germ, and I don't know that I need every one of them. So um, that's at least what I'm telling myself. I'm going to go back to not sharing my screen. Just get a couple of JP. Thank you, Biggie. You're very, you know, the the voice of reason and behaving myself. Fact of the matter is, between well, what about last month and then uh, this box, this book that just came that I unboxed here earlier in the stream, um, and the book that's coming tomorrow. Um, I probably need to behave myself, unfortunately, for a little while and not spend very much uh, on comics. Just for the friction. Oh, my God. Why did I click on that comment? <laughs> oh, Lord. This is definitely off the rails. So, uh, before I got completely off the rails, I was talking about the fact that that was a book that was on my original 2019 want list that I kind of put aside because I didn't think I was going to make it very far. But, boom. So we're going to mark it out. So, um, that means... So this is my original list. I can tell you right now, there's a couple books on this list that are definitely not relevant anymore. Um... But some of them are, um, and the book tomorrow, hopefully, or Tuesday, hopefully I get it picked up tomorrow. I got a meeting, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get by the post office, um, is on this list. Uh, so you guys, there's, if I can get the focus, focus, without turning me orange, it's going to turn me orange, orange. Okay, let's back it up. All right, you guys, prediction time. So what is the book that is waiting for me at the post office that I did not 
get yet. You guys have any predictions? Thank you, TJ. Oompa Loompa. I have no idea. Where did I miss the Oompa Loompa? Um, unfortunately, Biggie, my want list, Biggie says I, I've been wanting some big books. My want list is bigger than my budget. <laughs> Um, but that, you know, that's okay. Because I, I told you guys, um, I kind of moved on from that list. Although this book I found for the right price. So I'm, I'm happy with it. To this kind of long term, where did it go? List of like 20. You know, which I've showed you guys before. And this is kind of the list I'm mostly operating off of now. But there's a... Like, these are, you know, some bigger books. These are going to be, um, take Boogie's comment off for now. These are going to take effort and time. And um, so those books, you know, I'm going to hopefully click a couple of those books off. But there's other books. There's some modern stuff that I still want. I'm not just going to exclusively go after those. 90. Did somebody say 90 dropped in. Hey, 90, what's going on? I want to give a shout out to 90. Um, I was going to give him a shout out at the beginning of the stream to tell people to go hit him up because he was at 499 during Slab Down. I saw right before I went live, though, that 90 had hit 500. Biggie's already on it in the chat. I want to say congrats to 90. Congratulations on 500, my friend. That is awesome. Well deserved. Um, and yeah, Barrett says Shannon Mayer is a dude. So there you go. Um, and 90's like, what did I walk into? They're confirming this guy somebody's a dude. Um, so YouTube really is 90 because he is at 500 subs. So good for him. Um, so that is awesome. You, what you've missed so far, 90, is me completely off the rails. Uh, and But that's okay. That's what we're... There's a hot author named Shannon Mayer. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Lord. I really need to quit encouraging Barrett, but he makes me laugh. I can't help it. Uh, so, 90, the book that, so, originally this was supposed to be a dual unboxing. I've seen no predictions yet for the book, but one of them, the book that was supposed to come Saturday, uh, required a signature. I didn't know it was going to require a signature, so I didn't stay home when the postman was going to come. So, I got to go get it from the post office tomorrow. But I went on and opened the other book. This is the other book that I got um, that I picked up recently. Um, so that is a little Art Germ Love for me, which you guys know I'm a, a sucker for Art Germ. I'm a sucker for Batgirl, although this is Stephanie and not Bar Babs, but that's okay. I like all the Batgirl. I'm a big fan of all three of them. Um, Cassandra and Stephanie and Babs is my favorite, but that's okay. So, um, hey, hi, Leia, what's going on? So this is what I picked up. Um, I'll probably be live tomorrow with another unboxing. So um, you know which one it better not be? What does that mean, TJ? What do you mean it better not be? <laughs> I will tell you it's on this list as well as my original list. Better not be. TJ, are you up to no good? Because I, that's, oh, crap. <laughs> um, YouTube is green? YouTube <laughs> green is evil. Okay, I was like, I, sorry, that took me a second to register what you had written there. I really, I was a little slow on the uptake. <laughs> um, yeah, TJ... Oh, Lord. Uh, you do not have to do an A-OK -okay to me, PJ, but that is... Yeah, he's messing with, I think... See, this is what I think. Is I think he's messing with me. <laughs> but I would never... Never, T never, Biggie. Never piss off the dragon. PJ is amazing. Uh, if you guys did not get a chance, I'm sure everyone in this chat... Hey, Tacoma, what's going on? Um, nice <laughs> Yeah, um... Uh, go back and watch my live stream from Monday, uh, Collecting Smart with TJ and Metarog and the boy who had seven talking about slabbing comics. Um, 
it's maybe the favorite thing I've done on YouTube because I probably talked, we went for a little over an hour and I probably talked for 10 minutes of that. Um, because basically Matt and I asked TJ and Roger questions and they knocked it out of the park. They did an amazing job. Um, it was awesome. I really, I want to say thanks again for even for coming on with us, TJ. It was great. I had a blast. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was awesome. And so I want to thank TJ for doing that. I need to do maybe some more of that collecting spark kind of thing and just get people on in the community to talk about why they collect, how they collect. Um, I haven't actually talked to Matt about this, but I feel like, I mean, there's going to be some other subjects we want to do, but I think for more consistency, I kind of want to go maybe down that road with collecting smart. And um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see where that goes, but um, it was awesome. I had a blast. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm off the rails, but this chat is off the rails. You guys are nuts. <laughs> I swear to God. Um, yeah, and if and if nothing else, even if you've watched that live stream, go back and watch it again and just watch TJ's feed. Because like every couple of minutes, TJ would just pull down this epic would have this epic book up there that we'd all like kill to have. And he'd just casually pull it down, and he'd put up another book that was just as good, if not better. And you're just going, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's just, yeah. So, um, <laughs> and he was just all completely, you know, nonchalant about it. He wouldn't say nothing. He was just like, doo, 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 here comes another here comes another monster. <laughs> it's just, you know. Hey, Libre, if you want to drop on, hop in, man, go for it. Just hit me. Let me know. I and that goes for anybody. Any of you guys went on. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm completely off the rails at this point. So anybody that wants in is welcome. Is always welcome on my Sunday things. I rarely have a true agenda for. I guess last Sunday I had an agenda, but NYC joined me late and actually made that better. Um, so this is always the best thing. 3 a.m. Thank you for staying up, Gray Man. I appreciate it. You get a good night's sleep, my friend. That it, I always appreciate you guys over there uh, hanging out um, and staying with us because I know it is crazy late for you guys. I'm using CD, CDs as coasters. <laughs> um, well, yeah, TJ's got slab everywhere. It's, you know, that's why I tried to give him Scrooge's money bin and John's contest so he'd have a place to store all those slabs. So, um, glitter and duct tape. I'm not seen. Have I seen glitter and duct tape before? Um, I do not know. But welcome to the chat, glitter and duct tape. I have not seen you before. I don't feel like. Um, no problem, Highland. Like I said, that goes for anybody. You guys are all welcome. Almost to 500. You know. So I, when I started this, I was at 427, which I want to thank everybody for. Last Sunday, so a week and about six hours ago, I was at 390, and Rod shouted me out, just a recon, uh, Rod shouted me out on his comic community shout outs. Before he was off the air, I was over 400. I'm now, at, I picked up 27 more this week. Um, yeah, so I've been like cruising on picking up subs this week, which is amazing. Um, so I appreciate everybody that subs. Biggie, is it 440? I didn't know you were at 440. Nice, Biggie. We got to get you to 500. Biggie's closer to me. Everybody who is not sub to the immortal Biggie Shack that is in this chat, go get that man close to 500. Um, he needs to be there. He is amazing. Um, and definitely Bake is 30 away from 300. If you guys are not subbed to Bake the Snake, I'm just going to shout out people at this point. Go get him there. Um, so we need to get Bake to 300. We need to get Biggie to 500. If you guys get me to 500, that's bonus. We got Chad to 500 today. 
NYC is at 4.37. I lose some every day. I don't make a video or do shit when this is often. <laughs> we need to get NYC headed back in the right direction. Let's get that man to 500. Um, see, you need some... I don't know what kind of books you got at Boston, but hopefully you have a good video from that. And we need to do more Gotham City Chronicles. Um, speaking of which, I haven't even talked about that yet. Uh, let's see. Sub me. What are you at, Joe? Uh, I feel like I am sub to Joe. I want to, God, I hope I'm sub to Joe. I always... If I am not sub to you, Joe, I apologize. Sometimes, you know, like, you see people in chats, and it's like, you think you've subbed, and you don't. And Patrick Seacast Kelly, what's going on, man? So let me double check. I'm double checking on Joe, because I'm not, why am I not seeing Joe in my chat? Um, the Dorkeries, what's going on? Thank you for joining us. Why am I not even seeing uh, my chat? Oh, there he is. Go. He doesn't have content. That doesn't matter. I am not sub to you, Joe. You are now. You are. You have another sub. Is there anybody else in here that I am not sub to? I subbed to the Dorkeries the other day when they subbed to me to Coma. I'm not sub sub to Glitter and Duct Tape because I don't think I had seen them before. Are you guys a new? Oh, somehow I clicked on Tacoma and not Glitter and Duct Tape. 22 subscribers. Glitter and duct tape, you are up to 23. Um, so, Rag718. This is going to be, I'm just shouting at everybody. Let's see where, where is Rag718? I am not subscribed. Huh. Huh. I'm bad sometimes. See, I don't always, like, immediately when I see people, like, sub like I should. So, I'm just subbing up everybody. If you haven't subbed to anybody in this chat, um, you should go do so right now because they are all part of this community um, doing good stuff. All right, later, Unruly. I'm going to get off here pretty quick. This has been 45 minutes almost of random, you know what. Biggie says he subs to everybody. I try to, Biggie, but I don't always get it done. Nova, man, I, I mentioned to you earlier that I had not seen you guys before. Um, I have seen you now. I can't believe these are in my collection. It's his most recent recent view just video just three days ago. So it looks like some cool Spider-Man books. So you are subbed up, Nova Man. So um so yeah. So we're doing a a boob talk TV in the honest here. <laughs> Okay, so there was a lot of boob talk. We could go back to the boob talk, I guess, if you guys really want to. But um, <laughs> well, we were. It wasn't boob talk, Barrett. It was should JP spend silly money on the Shannon Mare, um, Harley and Ivy variant because he already was a sucker and bought the uh, Ghost Spider one, and then you guys got off of. Um, Emma Frost, you guys got on the Emma Frost chain and everything else. Um, PJ says you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Keep talking. <laughs> Typically, I do an hour on Sundays. I just don't necessarily. Oh, I do have stuff. All right, let me get this back off of there. Um, well, mostly it was Barrett doing boob talk, but I we all got sucked in a little bit. Um, those are on the Comic Mint. Website rags. Let me pull those back up for you. Um, I'll go back. So let me go back and get out of the. Oh. So each one. Um, so they're store exclu exclusives. So each one is fourteen ninety five. So the Harley one is fourteen ninety five, and the Ivy one is fourteen ninety five. So they're not fourteen ninety five for the pair. They're a piece. So. Um, so yeah. Barrett says, bake, I make, oh my, no, I'm not even reading that out loud. Uh, <laughs> oh, I clicked on the wrong. Uh, I'd forgotten that you said that to Thanatos, TJ. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah, Barrett, when are you going live? So I can send in your chat and make comments and uh, and give you a hard time. That's what we that's what needs to happen is I'm waiting for Barrett to go live so we can all get in his chat and yeah. Make sure his live stream goes off the rails completely. Um, oh, we'll just go live, Barrett. My setup's probably not going to be the way I want it till like 2022. <laughs> it's the right things are going, so I just make do. You see, I just have a stack of comic boxes against the wall. <laughs> so that's, um, okay. So, yeah. Can't wait for it, Barrett. I look forward to it. Um, uh, definitely look forward to seeing you on the chat. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm going to have to stop talking. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, okay. <laughs> so I've been trying to like talk about the other stuff I have coming up like 10 minutes and I've just went back and forth on this stuff. Um, so, unboxing the second book that was supposed to be part of this, hopefully tomorrow night. Um, later this week, uh, I have my second episode of Let's Collect coming. Um, and that is going to be Let's Collect Black Widow. Uh, so, that is my second character that I'm going to do for a Let's, Let's Collect series. Um, probably Wednesday or Thursday before I get that edited. Um, I actually recorded it today, but it's probably going to be Wednesday or Thursday before I get that edited. Um, uh, and then, uh, so, tomorrow night, another unboxing, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, Lex Collect. Obviously, next Saturday will be the top ten again. Um, I'll, I'll do something next Sunday night. Uh, and then next Monday is the next episode of Gotham City Chronicles, where we are doing Black Mirror. Um, that will be on Comic Books NYC's channel. And our guy, uh, Bear Island, will be joining us for this discussion. So uh, we are looking forward to that. And then beyond that, I don't know. So, um, oh, I do know the episode of. Gotham City Chronicles after that is already scheduled. Um, that'll be September 9th. That's when we're going to do Mad Love finally. We kind of put that off because uh, Kachung and Delphia are going to join us for Mad Love. And they wanted to wait till after Dragon Con with all their cosplay stuff. So we decided to postpone this. And we moved this up. And Bear Island was happy to step in between to join us for that. And then um, at some point, I'll do another Collecting Smart with Matt. And, oh, and Friday, I will be on my first competition show where I'll probably get my butt handed to me um, <laughs> on Friday Night Fights on the Boy Who Had Sevens channel uh, with him and John hosting, I think, again. I think I'm going up against Comic Books NYC. I think Bake, the defending champion, is going to be back. Um, and Spidey Fan, who I have never been on stream with. So I'm looking forward to that. So that is on Friday. Yes. Uh, Biggie is still, like, disagreeing with the chat's vote on the Cosmic Cube. Sorry, Biggie, we just didn't agree with you on that one. So, uh... It's black bake. What did I miss? I don't know. I missed something there. Um, bake is a champ. Yeah, that's correct. Bake is the defending champ on Friday Night Fights. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I will say after our Gotham, I believe we started talking about this after our Gotham City Chronicles, that uh, Matt, the boy who had seven, was on where we did. Uh, uh, a death in the family. He, NYC and I were talking and he pitched this idea and we were like, well, that's kind of close to the hunt. 
And so then we started talking through it and we talked about books in our collection and then like not knowing what the categories were and like the three of us kind of brainstormed and then he brainstormed with uh, John some more and you saw the results on Friday of all that. So I was disappointed. I could not be a part of the first episode. So I'm super pumped to be a part of that on Friday night. Uh, let's see, Tip, you have books in front of you. <laughs> have your books in front. Well, I'm gonna have my books around me. I am gonna have to like go through my collection a little bit and remember what I actually have in terms of some of these themes. <laughs> Cause some of those themes, I don't know that I have any books, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be tough. Uh, Yes. Yeah. That was a little bit of a, yeah, you got, Bake, you didn't really have, you did your best by pulling his own book against him on that one. But yeah, that TJ note just put that book over the top. So yeah, Whitewell was winning that round. Uh, if it's DC Girls, I got it made. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be the round, Bakey, but. Um, yeah, I need to get you back online with me again, Hylea. Uh, we could do that. So for that matter, if any of you guys are, hit me up afterward or let me know now if you guys want to be live with me tomorrow when I unbox uh, book number two, probably go about the same time because um, that's usually the time I go on Mondays. Uh, I wouldn't be able to pick a certain artist's book. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, DC Girls, I might actually do okay. Um, it's like Batman. Well, that depends. See, here's the problem is NYC, like, yeah, the things I collect are very similar to what Kavi collects, only his collection is way better than mine, <laughs> or way more extensive than mine in terms of big books and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have my work cut out for me, um, but we will see what happens. I'm just doing it to have fun. If I get, hopefully, I'm just hoping I don't get, like, two and done, then I at least make it like a three book, you know, match. Uh, it just depends on what the, what categories we get. There's some categories I think I could compete pretty well, but there's some that I'm going to have to be like, no, really, this is that category. <laughs> so, I mean, if I'd gotten like what John and JD battled over today, like the cosmic, I don't have hardly any cosmic books. Um, I would, yeah, I would got my but stomped on like cosmic books. Are you facing Spidey fan first? I don't know that Matt has told us. Uh, he just said that you, Spidey fan, and Bake were gonna be there. That's all I know. So I don't know who I'm matching up with. Oh, if I have to match up with the defending champ in the first round, Bake's gonna just like smack me down. <laughs> so. The battles, Frank White. Okay, I don't know who Frank White is, Biggie. Um, I know who Frank White, the baseball player, is, but I don't know who Frank White, the YouTube slash comic collector, is. Well, at least one minute, not be in and out and. <laughs> oh, Barrett. Oh, Lord. Oh, NYC. Okay. So. Uh... The gangster. Uh, see, I did not know. I guess I had missed that. I had missed that. So, all right. There you go. So, yeah, I don't. Yeah. See, my only goal, my only chance really against Kavi is if he can't find the book he's looking for and has to just pick something else. That's really my only chance. I feel like it's if I can find the book I want and then he is just like, goes to look for it, and in all the moving that he's had to do in the last couple of weeks, simply can't find it. <laughs> it's there, but he doesn't find it until after the time is up. That's how I beat, um, uh, that's how I beat comic books in my seat. That's my strategy. <laughs> I don't know that it's going to work, but, uh, <laughs> so, but that is my strategy for beating comic books in my seat, is that he won't find his book, and I just have something. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, see, no, 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 no. You're busy. You have stuff to do. You do not have time to prepare. <laughs> I'm going to have to prepare because I'm probably like, I was joking to myself or to, I forget now who I made the joke to, but that I was going to um, have to go back and watch my own collection videos that I made um, just to remember <laughs> what it is I have in terms of covers. <laughs> and so that was going to be part of my prep and <laughs> those collection videos. <laughs> No, see, oh, t t there you go. See, I just need uh, TJ to be my, like, phone a friend. <laughs> like, tag TJ in, <laughs> and then, I, then I'd have a chance. Uh, all right, we are coming up on an hour. Um, New York is more Beanie Blanco than the box. <laughs> are you wanting me to stop, Biggie? Am I rambling on and boring you? I apologize. Um so, uh, uh, like I said, um, another unboxing tomorrow night, probably. Uh, if anybody wants to join me for that, just hit me up. Probably about 8.30 again, uh, Central. It is a book on this list, but it's also a book on this list. So, um, so that is uh, that book is coming tomorrow. Um, tonight, for the, those of you, anybody joining me late, uh, <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna make the dragon angry. Uh, uh, oh, goodness gracious. Um, so that's gonna be tomorrow night. This is the book I unboxed tonight. So I had two pickups last week, uh, this one, and then the book I'm gonna unbox tomorrow night. Um, Super happy to add this. I'm a big Archer fan. You guys know how I feel about Batman characters in general and Batgirl, even this version. Um, and so super happy about this, uh, to add this to my collection. Um, so that, uh, I got a Lex Collect coming up on Black Widow, Friday Night Fights that we've been talking about. Um, on Friday on the Boy Who Had Seventh channel, my weekly top 10 look back, and then uh, next Monday, uh, Gotham City Chronicles returns finally, and we will be doing Black Mirror on uh, Comic Books NYC's channel with Bear Island. Um, and A <laughs> wicked <can> high cough. <laughs> You'll have a Boston cough, so maybe it'll make you talk like that instead of. Uh... It's on both lists, TJ. It is on, so that's to narrow it down. It's actually on. Um... Where am I? What did I do with my list? Oh, I laid them under the book. I just laid down. So my, it's on my original uh, 2019 want list. So it's on here. Which there's only a couple of these that are on the other list. So that narrows it down actually to three books. So it's one of three books. Um, so so I will tell you, it's one of three books. Um, and it's on here. It's either Lois Lane 70, ASM 42, or ASM 194. Um, so that is the book I will be unboxing tomorrow night. It's one of those. Um and uh, best breast in comics. <sighs> uh, I have my opinion on that, Chris Barrett. Depends on who the artist is, but I mean, there is a obvious choice, but I'm not sure she's the right choice, which is Power Girl is the obvious choice. Um, and beyond that, you know, that, but I think Wonder Woman's a pretty good choice for that, usually, depending on who's drawn her. Um, I'm trying to think Marvel. Who bring, who's the best? Yeah, I don't know. Hialeah says, I'm I just don't have a heart attack. I thought Hialeah was going to drop there a couple times during that. So I'm glad I don't. Oh, TJ says I'm good. So there you go. If it's one of those three books, I'm good. Wait a minute. <laughs> Those are like if it's on this list, 
that you're talking about, TJ, those are like the smaller, <laughs> almost the smallest of the books on this list in terms of value. <laughs> uh, TJ, you do not, uh, you do not have to send me any kind of A-OK, -okay, TJ. If you do, I would be greatly appreciative, but you do not feel obligated to do something like that. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, I appreciate anybody who does. Like, I shouldn't say that because I'm wanting to send out AOKs to people. So I shouldn't be like, no, send me AOKs. But you don't, no one has to. I don't feel, don't anyone ever feel obligated to send me anything. Um, but no, that's one of the things. I'll be perfectly honest. Like, after tomorrow's book, um, there's one more book. I'm hoping to track down this year. And otherwise I like in terms of like any kind of big book, I am probably done for 2019 budgetarily wise, uh, everything else. Um, I want to put some book, some money and some effort into some AOKs. Um, there's a couple people I owe big that not that they would think that, but I feel like I need to like, I want to pay back for some things. Um, and I want to do a little effort there. Also, I'm rapidly approaching, as we talked about earlier, at 427, 500 subs. Although I'm probably not doing a 500 sub subscribe contest. Um, I'm going to do, because of me and uh, numbers that mean something to me, I'm doing a 600, I will do a 600 subscriber contest, but I want it to be big, which means I need to track down some really good books. Um, and some things to help make those prizes. Because one of the things that, yeah, I there's a couple things I have my mind on that I want to get to give away because I think people would appreciate them. Um, and so there's that. Oh, the cat is making an appearance. You've been sleeping. What the heck? So she's finally joined us, um, which is shocking that she waited this long. Um, so let's see what else is going on in the chat here before I go offline. I'm dragging this out, TJ. I'm over an hour at this point. Double, I don't know what I missed. The seeds. Who are you, Jeff? <laughs> I had dreams of You know, I like, like a TJ AOK -okay would like, Sort of frightens me because it would literally like probably the AOK -okay would be worth more than my collection, <laughs> uh, like based on those AOKs -okay you said before. But uh, but uh, good grief! Hopefully, if he does something, it's you know like smaller than what he did for those other guys. Um, Night ninety, I uh, appreciate you for joining me. Congratulations again on five hundred, sir. Well deserved. Uh, what about Keith? Talking, do you understand? <laughs> See, he's trying to turn me into Thanatos, is what it is in terms of like not saying, being able to say goodbye. Like, just stay online, never say goodbye. Well, I am actually going to call it here in just a second. Um, was there anything else I wanted to say? I don't know. I've lost, you guys, I'm off the rails. The cat's put her tail in front of the camera. Um, now she's trying to knock the camera over. Um, this has been fun, if crazy. Uh, I want to thank you guys. For... Might as well invite me, Biggie. Did you say you wanted to be invited? Did I miss that in the chat? Um, TJ needs entertainment. <laughs> Did I miss that earlier, Biggie? Because I put out the call earlier. Um, you know what? At this point, I am going to call it. But Biggie, if you went on for the unboxing tomorrow night... Uh, let me know and uh, email me, uh, or when you drop in tomorrow night, I will email you. We'll send you your email. I'm sorry I missed it, Biggie. I that's that's on me. I just missed that, but I'm gonna go on and call this. Um, but if you want in tomorrow night with me and NYC, um, or whoever want, you know, we can add a couple people to that stream. However, if anybody's interested, um, I will. You're definitely welcome then. But I'm going to call this because I actually have to be up and on the road early in the morning as well. So 
Um, <laughs> TJ says <just> fine. <laughs> Sorry, TJ, but I will be live again tomorrow with another unboxing. So, for that point is you don't have to be. Uh, you don't. We will not miss me long. Um, you will get to see me go off the rails again, and hopefully at that point maybe a couple people will join me. So, um, if you want to join me, hop in. And Perry is lurking, TJ. So there you go. You can watch like you can go watch Perry and watch like thirteen other channels um, at the same time. As Perry is hiding in bushes and um, you know sweating, you know, as swamp ass going in his blazer and uh, you know doing all that kind of peeking in windows and that kind of thing. So, all right. Good night, everybody. Uh, I've drugged this out. I've mini Thanatos this, but you could actually argue it's major Thanatos this. And we will see you tomorrow.